guys. Welcome to Luke and Lewis. Welcome to Luke and Lewis, a very special emergency episode of the show. This is an emergency episode. Now, this episode is only coming out because for whatever reason, we don't know why as of recording this, this is coming out. We don't know when it's coming out. We don't know why it's coming out. But this episode is being released because for whatever reason, we were unable to release a regular episode. Hopefully, this uh, will happen many months in the future. So we are recording this. We'll tell you guys the date. Uh, the 2nd of August, and probably the year as well, 2021. That's right. Because this could be August. January 2022. Matt, hopefully, right, with the way we're going, we very, very rarely miss episodes. We've never missed one. And we haven't released a, an emergency episode in over 18 months. Oh, that's a good record. So yeah. I think that this is probably coming out 18 months from now. Judging by our track record. I think realistically it's Mm -hmm. in between that weird two weeks, like Christmas, New Year's, and coming back to it. So it's probably Happy New Year's, guys. Yeah, yeah. Or or, Merry um, Christmas. So so hopefully, right, if this is coming out 18 months from the 2nd of August, 2021, Mm -hmm. at least 10% of the population has got to be vaccinated by now. (laughs) <laughs> and 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 hopefully you know uh, uh melbourne's coming out of their 25th lockdown <laughs> congratulations guys uh, that was tough that was tough yeah that was tough i do remember that the 24th one easy yeah the 25th, 25th one Oof, 200 days a bit rough <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh but so why do you think it coming, this is coming out it coming out in january means we just had the loogies Oh, how good was the Loogies? How good was the Loogies in Undisclosed City? Yeah, yeah, fuck. Imagine if that got cancelled. Because that still got... I mean, we could probably say it. The Loogies. Uh, no? Don't say it. Why not? Oh, well, it's could... already happened. Maybe it got cancelled. <laughs> okay. The Loogies. Uh, maybe... Okay. <laughs> because what if this episode comes out before the Loogies? That could happen unlikely. too. Unlikely. Uh, very unlikely. <laughs> I think, look... Honestly, I reckon this episode is coming out in like February 2022. Okay. I'm feeling a strong Feb. Because that's Uh, before Comedy Festival. A bunch of my shows this year have been cancelled. I'm probably doing shows in February. That's right. I I think... Let me have a look at the dates. I think it's going to be one of the first weeks of January. Usually we we take like a two-week break, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm assuming it's... (sighs) Tuesday, the 4th of January, 2022. <laughs> That's a big call. Okay. Yeah, I'm certain. Great. Uh, <laughs> also, Luke is not here. Um, obviously. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> in case you just, just realised, this isn't Luke. This is Keelan. Hello. Uh, hopefully, you're still alive. Hopefully. Um, imagine that, if one of us were dead. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think about that sometimes. What happens if I die? Yeah. Because I live by myself. Yeah. What happens if I just died? You would have no way of knowing. So if you died on uh, on a Friday, I just wouldn't find out till Tuesday. Mm. Probably not even. You know, you know what? Potentially, if you died in your apartment alone, I wouldn't find out for two weeks because you wouldn't answer your phone yeah. and I don't have the, the apartment keys. You'd be probably pretty angry if on Monday afternoon, Monday morning I hadn't yeah. picked you up. What I would have to do is when they find your body, I'd have to take your phone and delete all the angry text messages I've sent you. Going, Where the fuck are you? Where's the video? Have you finished it? Come on, dude. Yeah. Well, I don't... And, and, and then I would re-text you, man, ho- hope you're okay, thinking about you. I, I guess my mum would have to email you. Email? You reckon she, she would tell me via email? Surely she could call me. She doesn't have your number. She knows where I live. Surely, uh, okay, you know what? tell yeah, your no. mum if you <laughs> oh, die my mom, my anytime soon. T- tell her, tell her. Keelan's mum. <laughs> I know you're listening to this. If Keelan dies, he's not planning on it. <laughs> but also this emergency episode has come out 18 months from now. He could be dead already, right? Maybe that's why this episode is coming out, mm. right? Uh, if he dies, <laughs> you know where I live. I want to knock at the door. Don't call me in advance and go, hey, I'm coming over to let you know Keelan's died. I want to knock at the door. <laughs> All black attire, flowers. <laughs> flowers? Yeah. I For want, you? Yes. 
I see her. I see you more than she does. I want her. <laughs> I want her to come to my house with a veil, black veil, <laughs> flowers, and say, sorry for your loss. Do you need anything? That's what Do I expect. Do you need anything? Yeah. My mother. Yeah? Okay, that's fine. What if I died at work? How would you tell how anyone? Would I, how would I tell her? Yeah. Okay. I would need to borrow her veil. <laughs> so I could dress up. Call ahead. Can yeah. I borrow your veil? Yeah, and she go, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then I would knock on her door. But you don't know where she lives. You're gonna have to tell me, <laughs> just in case. You have. I have taken you there. A, yeah, a few times. But now. like, I would remember that. Yeah, I can barely remember where I, where I live. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you die at work. Okay. Okay. First of all, uh, I'm trying to guess your password to get all of the videos that are in progress off your laptop, airdrop them to mine. I'm doing this. If you had a heart attack at work, I'm doing that before I call the ambulance. As I'm having a heart attack, I'm yeah, walking in You're still you. alive. I'm going, what's your password? And you're like, call an ambulance. I'm like, what is it? Capitals? Are there any capitals in there? Numbers? Yeah. It didn't work. Did you put a space in it? <laughs> you're slowly losing consciousness. I'm like, oh, the fucking number pad wasn't on. Well, that's... That's something that, like, if I was having a heart attack, it would be, like, the first thing. I'll save the hard drives, like... Yeah. Yeah, that's my good. first reaction every time. Yeah. It's always the hard drives. Yes, that's good. That is good. That's great. Yeah. We are... Uh, I'm going to do a, a fire drill um, <laughs> when we get to my place. Yeah. And the first thing you do, you hit the smoke alarm goes off. The sure. first thing you do, run directly into the fire. Mm -hmm. This is you, not me. Me. Directly into the fire, grab the hard drives. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Pass them to me. I'll take them to safely. You go back into the fire again and get my action figures. <laughs> so uh, they don't melt. Oh, yeah. Actually, I might help you save your 500 YouTube figures. <laughs> Still have the fucking YouTube Because that is a lot of money. Do you reckon I've sold them by now when this episode's come out? Oh, maybe. With the, with the few ideas we have. We do have an idea. Maybe that idea has happened. Guys, yeah. you guys... I hope this isn't coming out soon because you got, we're getting a lot of teasers. This is... We got a great four months ahead. Yeah. And just, I hope that it's been good. Man, I hope you don't die. The same. Yeah. I die, there's no show. You, well, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, there is a show without me, but the yeah. show just won't be edited. Yeah, it won't. It'll definitely have a long dip. Yeah. A real long dip. A bit of a pause. Okay. Hypothetical. Mm. And this is for the listeners as well. Sound off in the comment section below. Luke or I die. Would you be okay with the show continuing with Keelan as a host? <laughs> or do we just end it? End it out of respect? Or we, we hobble along? You know what? As like the Luke and Keelan show or the Lewis and Keelan show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. You I, reckon you, we end it? I, I think there has to be a few meme episodes out of respect you can't have a meme episode yeah what we're like where where my corpse is just in the chair <laughs> no but like say it's luke who's yeah. died yeah okay. uh, obviously we, <laughs> we could go through mm -hmm. old episodes yeah. and clip different things he said yeah you can have an episode talking to past luke so you dress up in in his gander <laughs> wardrobe and yeah. we just have a soundboard. I, I didn't wear my gander today, actually. Good. We just have a soundboard mm. of just like generic Luke responses. Like, mm hmm no, yes. We don't have one. I would just... <laughs> what are you looking for? It's important to get this on the record. I have a small PP. I forgot about That's that good. one. That was that so. Well, so now Ruben can die. <laughs> And we can still do a guest episode. So that's sweet. Ruben, don't worry about it. You don't need to organize anything. We've got it covered. Mm -hmm. um, Ruben's just announced his new comedy festival show. Hopefully. It's called... It's important to get yeah, this... It's called... I have a small PP. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard about this a lot. Yeah. Because this is coming out in January 2021, this episode. Yeah. So his uh, comedy festival show, I have a small PP... <laughs> Tickets are on sale now. I have get coronavirus. It. Yeah, really? Yeah. That's um, why... That's why you've passed. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
<clears throat> what do you think of the uh, the board today? Yeah, pretty good. I've added um, a few extra bits and pieces in there. Uh, I've so I've uh, so the reason why we're recording this without Luke is Luke's actually interstate at the moment, and uh, we're about to do an actual episode after this with Luke. Very true, yep. But we thought we'd smash out this emergency just in case because look, productive day. Yeah, he's in a different state, right? Sure. So I th- was thinking that because this is an emergency episode, that I assume has come out because one of us has died. Um, we should have some semblance of a presence from Luke. Mm-hmm. So I think we just give him a call right now and uh, get him to contribute. It's not ringing. Should we be able to hear it? Yo. Hello. Hello. What's hey. up? Uh, That's really good. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, mate. Great. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> he was not pleased at all with that one. Uh, Matt, well, I think it was mainly the confusion that we had. We couldn't hear him. Imagine <laughs> if he's died six months ago and people are like, people oh. have, have just started to get over <laughs> the fact that he's passed. He could die this week. Yeah. Wow. And then he just comes back into our lives in the form of that. And they go, fuck. <laughs> and the last thing that he ever says on the Luke and Lewis show is, great. <laughs> well, that's that's Luke. Mm. R.I.P. Luke. So you've been... Uh, you what, a, what a great show without Luke. This is really going well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you've been uh, getting up to a lot with your VHS tapes, Keelan. Yes. Uh, you, a few months... Well, at the time of release, a few years ago now... <laughs> Five, ten years ago now, you started yeah, yeah. collecting VHS tapes. That's right. I which started. at time of episode release are even older. Yes. So I started with, during the comedy festival, collecting yeah. bananas and pajamas tapes mm-hmm. because I thought that was really funny for some reason. Tapes? Like episodes of bananas and pajamas? Yeah, like three or four episodes on a tape. I just remembered that I wasn't wearing a hat <laughs> for the whole episode. And I haven't had a haircut for months because I don't know if you guys remember this at time of release. Ten years ago, we were in quarantine. It's only been 14 minutes. You got half an hour to make up for it. Oh, thank God. How good do I look in a hat? <laughs> Dude, I look like fucking Rick. <laughs> Rick. From Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah. Anyway, man. VHS tape. Uh, and then it slowly got, you know, the, the obsession kind of grew and grew. And then I started looking into tapes. Yeah. And during a comedy festival show, I'd sit with Arthur and I'd go through Marketplace until eventually I have now 600. 600. Too many tapes. And I'm moving soon. Mm-hmm. Or for you guys, I've already moved. Yep. And Eight years ago, approximately. I need to get rid of them. Right. So what are you going to do? So last, last month, a guy named James sent me an email and yeah. said, in spite of Luke and Lewis, I would like to buy a bunch of your tapes. He's and What a moron. In what a rube. <laughs> in the... The, the email he was like what a mark just to get back at them a fool a fool and I said sure what kind of tapes you want back and forth yeah. I counted them I'm willing to give him 300 300 tapes yep so so big problem with that you want to keep 300 that yes means. of course I want to keep the ones that I want I want to keep the horror movies yeah I want to keep the ones that mean something to me what means something to you what great memories could you have possibly <laughs> formed with these fucking VHS tapes you got obsessed with in about six months and got bored of two weeks after that? I want to keep like 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 the great the great mm-hmm. movies like yeah. Stuart Little One, Wrong. Stuart Little Two, incorrect, Narnia, false. No, I hate that fucking movie. Uh, Shrek One, yeah, Shrek yeah. One, yeah. Shrek One, mm-hmm. Shrek One. How many Shrek ones do you have? About six or seven. Six Shrek ones. Yeah. Were they worth anything? No. Some guy bought one from me on live stream. Yeah. He said, $50, I want you to hand deliver me this tape, which mm-hmm. is what I was doing at the time. Yeah. But he messed up. He's supposed to pay me on PayPal, not yeah. on YouTube. So he's not getting it. <laughs> Sorry, Jackson. Oh, hang on. So he he has lost $50. Because he, and I told him at yeah. the time, I said, do not send yeah. me money on YouTube. Because they take a 30% cut. It doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah. So right. you're not getting it. Sorry, mate. <laughs> So you scammed him. 
Yes. Yeah, okay, good. And I will do it and again. that's why you're dead. He's I killed would... you. Oh, no. <laughs> You'll do it again. <laughs> yeah. Anyone who wants to buy tape, I'll sign it, but you have to PayPal me $50. Yeah. That's and then you might get it. It's $100 if you want me to piss in it. Why would anyone want that? <laughs> I don't know. Someone might. <laughs> Soggy tape. <laughs> Anyway, so this guy, yeah. I've counted them out, 300. I've emailed him. I've said, uh, I gave him like, I, I came up with like an equation of how much per tape, even if they're not worth it. Yeah. And then I said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I've come up with an equation where I receive money and he gets ripped off. Yes. Yeah. Nah, good on you, mate. Um, so I, I said, what I, the I, fuck is he buying then? Boxes if you have 600 and, and you're getting rid of 300 shit ones, but you're keeping six Shrek oh, 1 tapes, they, what are you giving him? <laughs> there's a couple of good ones. There's like James Bond movies. There's all the classic Westerns. Uh, I hate Western movies. When I did that semester at film school, we mm. watched so many Westerns. Yeah. And I hated it so much. Yeah. I would leave class because I hated them that much. Yeah. Uh, what else? Like Crimson Tide in there. What the fuck is that? The Simpsons Sounds did like a parody period. of it. It's like um, some Navy movie. <laughs> You're ripping this guy off. No. You've pulled, you've pulled the wool over his eyes. <laughs> he's, he's, how much is he giving you? I can't remember. I'll get the email up. I cannot remember. Is it more than $50? Uh, Luke just texted us and said, are you recording? Aren't we doing an episode? Yeah. Uh, I'll just ignore that. That's all good. Sorry, yeah. Luke. So I'm finding the email now. Here hey. we go. I have a plan. Um, we can record uh, audio and send it via Facebook Messenger. So right. let's just, I'm recording right now. Yep. <laughs> and I'll send that through to him. Uh, so I said, oh, okay. So actually I fucked up. He's, he's getting them. Man, I was feeling generous this day. I think that I looked at the tapes, I yep. looked at the quality and I went... I can't. Maybe I should charge this guy fairly. So 50 cents a tape. Yeah. 225 tapes. And then I'm happy to uh-huh. throw in a few others that I know aren't worth anything. What's that, like 112.50. <laughs> I fucked up. Yeah. Okay. I fucked up. Message him back and go, I have seller's remorse. <laughs> I want 500 <laughs> for these tapes. It's all right. I think 125 for the shitty tapes. That's, that's a good profit yeah. from what I spent. Okay. I spent <clears throat> I spent a total of a hundred dollars. That is on so all the fucking tapes. crazy that you that they're worth that little because people were throwing them at me. Yes. Oh, actually, they're rubbish. And now that's what you're doing. I had a whole whole thing because I'm co-hosting the second episode, mm. but I completely fucked it up and completely forgot about it. Right. So so potentially the reason why this is coming out is because I've killed you <laughs> because I'm so frustrated with your performance on this episode. I've done good. What do you what do you mean I haven't done well? Well, you've just said mid episode. Oh, I fucked up. So <laughs> I'm just going with what you're saying. All right, maybe I'll save it for the end. Maybe I shouldn't have said it halfway through. Mm. Oh, I should have thought about that a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyway, this guy is getting roughly 300 tapes. Yeah, and I'm getting 100 bucks for it. So yeah, I fucked up, mate. I'm gonna be in the Olympics. I'm probably I've probably already <laughs> won gold. Yeah, in the Olympics, I've that's started right. swimming. Oh, that's right. Yeah, recently, yeah, have. which uh, oh, which you sent me a message last night saying you bought new new goggles. Yep, right. Post them to my Instagram story. I look very nice. They're good. So I bought you, some. I've been going swimming. I've gone swimming three times in a row now. <laughs> needed some goggles. How I'm much, really liking it. How much did they cost you? Uh, I spent a hundred dollars on swim gear. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right, sure. Fifty dollars. Those cost me. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I thought you said you spent $100 on the goggles. No. And I was going to rip you for that because you shouldn't be spending $100 on goggles unless you're a competitive swimmer. I am a competitive swimmer, mate. You know who I'm competing against? Me. Myself. <laughs> I, can do, I can do a whole lap in 40 seconds. Pretty it, good. It is a, a funny choice that you decided to get these goggles. Yeah. They're like, they're like proper squad goggles. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting a swim team. What do you think of the Would you like to join? Yeah, of course. We're called the wet cunts. Yeah, I'm I'm in. When's training start? Five AM tomorrow. 
I'm in. I'm in. Every morning. Every morning? Yeah. Even Sundays? Especially Sundays. <laughs> Twice on Sunday. Twice on Sunday. Mate, do you want to be in the Olympics or not? Yeah, let's go. I, I'll happily do it. Mm-hmm. Um, what kind of underwear did you get? I bought some Speedos. Speedos. That, uh, that are not the underwear Speedos. They're like the I boxes. Th- I thought they were a lot longer than they are. Yeah. They are... They're like, they're like that short. Yeah, yeah, they're like this short and yep. they're real tight. Mm-hmm. If you're going to join the wet cunt swim team, you're going to become very familiar with the outline of my penis because yeah. they're very tight. Well... I used to be a competitive swimmer and I used to wear I used to wear a better brand than Speedos. Oh wow. Yeah. What? Louis Vuitton? This is I'm gonna say it and you're gonna laugh. Uh-huh. Funky trunks. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking funky, bro. What's well yeah. that? Yeah, they're silly designs and that's Oh, so like the knobby of swim gear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's cool. But my, the ones I had, mm-hmm. the ones I like trained in were anime. I had like anime pictures all over them. It was kinda cool. That is cool. Um but yeah, you kind of get to know everyone's bulge when you're in a swim team. Mm, I'm really getting into it, swimming. And then sometimes when you do breaststroke, yeah, like you might be able to see the other person's gooch if you're looking. Why would you be looking? Or are if, you behind them? If the you pool? are behind them doing breaststroke and yeah. you happen to look, yeah, you can see their gooch. Right. Perhaps. Man, I got to get into competitive swimming. <laughs> Sounds really good. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Although the problem with that would be I would only be really fast if someone were in front of me. Because mm. I'd be really trying to catch up to the gooch to get a closer <laughs> look. So you'd want you'd want to have like someone like Ian Thorpe in front of me. Yeah. And then and then but I would never be faster than him. I would always be trailing. Yeah. Like Exactly behind exactly position, like on his feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well in between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to swim at this place called Jubilee Park in Frankston before I got shut down. Mm. And every Tuesday night, we'd start at like six p.m. and go till I don't know two hours. And there was always this man who was in our lane before us. And every single week, this happened. We couldn't just say, "Hey, get out of our lane." He'd yeah. swim until we stopped him. So I had to. Like every week we'd have to get in, catch up to him and grab him by the leg to stop him. <laughs> what do you mean? You had to pull an old man out of the pool. No. What right do you have to do that to him? No. He's in the, is, is it a public pool? What right do you have to pull a stranger out of the pool by the leg? What, because you're faster than him? <laughs> no. Because you can? <laughs> It's a... The weak must fear the strong. <laughs> you imagine a 14-year-old pulling you out? No, he was... So he was like an angry man. Yeah. And he would purposely take over our lane. It's a reserve lane for squad swimming. Yeah. Um, so get the fuck out of our lane. <laughs> and at what point is it rude to do that? Or is he more rude than us for taking up our lane again? So... When you say we had to pull him out of the lane, I just mean what like does that mean? I mean like swim, 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 grab his foot. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean and literally stop him, stop him, pull out of the lane, stop. Him. What does he do? How old's this man? He would be my dad's age, fifty to sixty. And so what does he do? And then get in the next lane. But he was a terrible swimmer. Yeah. When he did freestyle, he'd slap the water, mm. and so he's just a cunt. Yeah, a cunt of a swimmer. So every so that <laughs> every Tuesday night that that's would my happen. coach. You're talking about <laughs> show some respect. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait for the swim team to start. You know, I uh, even though we're both signed up to different pools, we I get the same set just FaceTime. I got my uh, my girlfriend's little brother. Good. I assume we've talked about this before the episodes come out. Right. But I went went to the pool with my girl's little brother. Yeah. And the pool has like a schedule. Sometimes there's lots of different classes. There'll be like swim classes for kids. There'll be like fitness classes, yeah. old lady classes. And uh, we rocked up just before a class um, that had actually moved forward. So we thought we had an hour. We actually only had about 20 minutes before the class rocked up. But then the instructor was like, no, it's okay. We're only going to use up two lanes so you guys can swim. That's fine. Right? <laughs> and it's the... The pregnant lady swim class. <laughs> so 
Jazz was little brother. He's only 13. Yeah. King. I He doesn't realize there's a class at all. Jasmine and I, we read it on the board. He doesn't know that there's classes at all because yeah. he's new to the swim team, the wet cunts. <laughs> um, and How many I, people are a part of the swim team? Huh? How many people are in the swim team? Mate, if you're wet, you're in the team. Oh, God, good. There's a few. There's a lot of ladies in the team. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so... We're we're swimming for twenty minutes, and then and then I tell him, uh, just just before I know the the pregnant swim thing's going to start, I go, he goes, uh, what what else is this pool used for? Because it's not Olympic size. I'm like, oh, it's mostly fitness, but sometimes every now and then someone comes to give birth in the pool. <laughs> and he goes, what? That's bullshit. I say, no. Sometimes, yeah. you know, at it's a common thing at at gyms pregnant women will come to give a natural birth in the pool because the salt water is good for the baby it makes the process easier and uh nurses will come in to assist and he goes you're lying i'm like well you know have you ever been to a pool at a gym and he goes no i'm like well i have and i've seen it happen and he goes whatever 10 minutes go by eight pregnant women (laughs) all will rock up and i say nothing and he's like (laughs) 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 <laughs> <laughs> he, he thinks he's about to watch eight pregnant women <laughs> give birth <laughs> in the pool. Yes. And then this, and he's like, what the fuck? And he goes, what are you doing? I'm like, well, it's normal. I'm like, don't stare, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't explain it. And then they all get in the pool and then yeah. like the swim instructor, she comes in and he's like, oh my God, it's the nurse. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, can we go? <laughs> I'm like, why? He goes, I don't want to watch them give birth. I'm like, relax, man. They're just here to swim. That's so funny. Really good. Stitched him up. Got him good. Got him. So I want to become really fast at swimming. Mm. That's And I think what's really going to help me more than fitness, more than diet, more than, more than anything, goggles. Yeah, well, you did get the very aerodynamic ones. Yeah. Yeah. And... That's going to give me the edge over you. You should get the the racing goggles with no uh, silicon around the eyes. I saw it's them. It's just plastic. Yeah, yeah. They were just really uncomfortable. Well, yeah. That's why you don't ever wear them during a race. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what, mate? I and are you gonna don't start need sh- them. You're going to start shaving your body hair? To make me more aerodynamic. Mm. Yep. yep. I, I do that anyway. I've just shaved my entire body using a... <laughs> using what? Uh, <clears throat> a brand of... Well, are we still razor? sponsored? That's a well. This might be, this might come out on a Tuesday, mm. because usually this brand, whatever brand it is, whatever brand it is, only sponsors Thursday's episode, yeah. and that was by the time this came out three years ago. So who knows if they sponsor? You know what? How about this? Yeah. If this brand that we're talking about does sponsor the show at time of release, three years from now, mm. ten years from now, fifteen years from now, mm. two weeks from today. Tomorrow. <laughs> we'll just pre-record an ad and drop it in right now. So I use the Manscaped 4.0 yeah. to shave my entire body. Really? Actually. Your whole body. It's kind of grown back now. but you Yeah, you're not. not I did, dude. I did everything. I did my chest. Did you do your arms? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do my arms. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to walk it back a bit. I did not <laughs> did do, do my whole body. Did you do your legs? No, no, I didn't. I did, did my you, I did my chest. Your gooch? And my and my gooch. Okay, I wouldn't okay. I gooch is if I'm doing my if I'm doing Wait, the rest should, of my you've done your gooch. We should go for a swim. <laughs> you first. <laughs> um but you know what I am wearing? Yeah. That's why whenever I go to swim class, I uh I have nose plugs in. Cause when I get so close to someone else behind them in the gooch, I can't help but sniff. Uh, it depends. Do they sponsor this episode? I think they definitely sponsor this one. Nobby.com.au. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Use code sound off for $5 off your first pair of the freshest underwear in the game. That's right. Literally fresh. I can't, they come out of the pack. These I sniff them and I go beautiful. These aren't. I've been wearing these since last night. Disgusting. Well, I had a shower last night. Yeah. And then you put them on? Yes. Okay. That's fine. I'll allow it. <laughs> I wore them in the shower. No, I didn't do that. No. That uh, would be silly. I just don't know why. You know what? I now have enough <laughs> pairs of knobby underwear that I reckon I could wear two per day and 
and not repeat pairs for like two weeks. I don't, but I don't get free nobby, so that's all good. But I will still endorse them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And if you were to get your first pair of nobby, yep. right? Let's say hypothetically you're some moron. Some who, loser. Like what are you wearing right now? Nobby. Yeah, but okay. Oh. You have misunderstanding. Okay, right. Let's reset. Okay. Let's say, hypothetically, remember when I said that? You're some moron. <laughs> who doesn't have Remember when I said <laughs> yeah, okay. Remember when I said right. let's say that you yeah, yeah. don't have any nobby nobby underwear. Okay. Okay. Call me a moron. That's no, it. Let's okay. <laughs> let's reset. I'm going to show you how it's done. All right? You ask me. You say what I said. Wait, no, I want to no, participate. I'm you ask me. This is, a, this is a learning. Okay, all right. This is an opportunity to learn. Hey, Lewis. Yep. What underwear are you wearing? Nobby. Fuck. <laughs> I messed it up. Okay. Okay, all right. I'm the moron. I'm the okay. moron. Yeah, I know that. Okay. So ask me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, Lewis. Yep. What underwear are you wearing? Nobby. Wait. Okay. Bonds. I'm an idiot. Let's I'm restart. S- okay. But restart. you ask me. Okay. Hey. Hey. Dickhead. <laughs> hey, idiot. Hey, what's up? What underwear are you wearing? Rio. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Rio. Yeah. You idiot. The cheap bonds. That's I don't even want to help you. <laughs> you don't even deserve help. You deserve it. Stay in Rio. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> what's that other brand? Kmart brand? Anco? Anco? Alpha? Alpha, that's it. Yeah. 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 (laughs) (laughs) What are you wearing right now? Alpha. (laughs) (laughs) Hang on. Alpha. Disgusting. (laughs) You know what you need to wear? What's that? You're an adult, aren't you? Yeah. Get your own money? Yep. Yeah. Get yourself a pair of knobby underwear. Best underwear in the game. How much? Mate. Can't remember, but twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars a pair. But now you might be thinking, because you're some disgusting peasant in your Rio <laughs> under, underwear. Yeah. You might be thinking, Rio. Gee, <laughs> gee, that's that's a lot. That's a bit more than what I pay for my underwear. There's a reason for that, mate. Yeah. Because you're wearing Rio <laughs> underwear, <laughs> and that's disgusting. <laughs> Treat yourself with some respect. You wear you wear underwear all day. Yeah. And if, but if you want it to be a little bit cheaper, in fact, 25% cheaper, but forget that percentage, exactly $5 off your yeah. first order. Yeah. Don't worry about the shipping. <laughs> <laughs> He's got yeah. sound off. Do I, wait, so how much is shipping? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. It doesn't come into it. It's free, but that doesn't no, matter. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Don't <laughs> say that because we said that before and they told us not to say that. Okay. And we've never said it since. I retract my statement. Good. Five dollars off your first pair. Yeah. At nobby.com.au if you use code code sound off. Yeah. Okay. And you get the best underwear in the game. Better than that. What are you what's that? Are you wearing right now? Alpha. <laughs> Better than that. <laughs> Just some nobby. At nobby.com.au. Oh, me use code sound off. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Garlic prawns. Jeez, I hope our comedy's improved ten years from when this episode was recorded. <laughs> I hope it's up in 10 years. Yeah. Man, 10 years. Mm. I'll be 31. You'll be 37. Yep. Cool. Probably onto my my 10th apartment building. Yep, yep. I'll still be uh, living in Frankston with my VHS collection. Yeah, you probably have 3,000 VHS tapes. That's right. You'll be able to start your own fucking blockbuster. I don't want to keep talking about VHS tapes. Well, they don't. Because that's boring. But, oh, okay. But I do want to start collecting purely horror movies now. I have a couple of the Nightmare on Elm Street. Do you like horror movies though? Yeah. 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 All right. Anyway, moving on. Does that say garlic prawns? <laughs> <laughs> We're planning the episode before we record this 10 years ago for you guys. We're recording... We're planning the episode and Keelan just writes down garlic prawns. I'm like, do you have a story for that? He goes, no, I'm just really hungry. <laughs> You, you, you try to run sheet like a fucking menu. Yeah. Garlic prawns. I bought garlic prawns from Noodle Joan the other week. So? It was good. All right. Well, you also have here disabled spot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great. I would like to formally apologize to all the listeners mm-hmm. of the last episode that I co-hosted. Well, 10 years back. <clears throat> eight years back. So, very different audience, but I still apologize to those if you, OGs. If a couple of your OGs are still around. Uh, I apologize and I apologize to all the disabled 
listeners of the show. What? You've changed. I've changed. I'm really, really sorry for the disrespect I've caused. I no longer park in disabled spots. <laughs> what the fuck? What Thank a you. bit of character development. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. Only because I can't actually get into my building from the disabled spot anymore. I take it back. So you haven't so the only reason you're not parking in that specific disabled spot yep. is because it's a little bit further to walk yes. now. That's right. What's changed? The laundromat. And now it's been 10 you years. You can't get in through that way. It's, it's been 10 years, so I'll say. The laundromat that I usually walk through <laughs> has now changed hands. Right. And I can't go through there. You've got a hand transplant. <laughs> they can do that now? Yeah. Wow. Do the fingers, <laughs> their fingers work and everything? Yeah. It's kind of like that Futurama episode. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. So, But there's a big sign now on the door saying, do not use this as a, as a walkway. Only for people with laundry. Okay, but there's a big sign... Next to the disabled park that says only for disabled people. So no, since no, 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 when no, 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 do no, you no. follow the rules? The sign at the disabled spot doesn't say only for disabled people. It's just got a photo of someone, a symbol of someone in yeah. a wheelchair, and it says only. <laughs> that could mean anything. I don't know. That definitely means disabled only. That's that's what that means. Uh, I don't so think so. You're that only going to follow law? rules set by people that... that are just rules for regular folk. You're like, oh, well, that rules for me. Mm. And I'm thinking about, because there is so little parking where I live, mm. taking down the no standing signs. <laughs> <laughs> like you're thinking about... Vandalism. Vandalism. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good though. One so, of the houses I used to live at, I used to live next to a primary school. Yeah. And there was a no standing sign yeah. right out the front of my house. And so one day I got so upset with this sign because I had to park fucking 10 meters down the road. Me, <laughs> 10 meters? Me what and is my that, friend, 60 steps? <laughs> me and my friend pulled the sign out and threw it into the school. Yeah. Yeah. And then did it ever come back? No, it didn't. So it was, good. So it worked. Net benefit. Absolutely. So, so why don't you just do that with disabled spots? You can just paint over them. Uh, <laughs> you could you could oh, just er erase the wheelchair and yeah. and the legs from the sitting position, and then just paint on new legs. You go, he's fixed, cured. That's, that's great. Well, I might do that. So yeah, I apologize. No <coughs> longer going to be parking in disabled spots in that specific area, though. In that specific area. What about hypothetically? Sure. Right. Let's say you're an idiot. What underwear are you wearing? Alpha. <laughs> Right? Good boy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Disgusting. All right? Now, that guy got fired from our show 13 years ago. As a wow. Release. He's bigger than Jim Jeffries now. That's crazy, isn't it? Who would have thought Ruben Solo? You know he's doing O2 Arena? But unfortunately, he has now got the legacy of Bill Cosby, so that sucks. Well, I don't know <laughs> if we should be saying that about our good friend Ruben. Okay? Because, you know, 13 years from now, he might have the money for defamation lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he might be coming back for you, coming for you with a vengeance. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> no, not allegedly at all. No, 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 no. Absolutely no, 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 no. not. I'm sorry, Ruben Solo. So have you heard about Seth Green? <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, moving on. What was I saying? I'm not Let's sure. say you're an, you're an idiot. Yeah, what, yeah. what underwear are you wearing? <laughs> yeah, Rio. Right? <laughs> Now you're going to the shopping center. There's which one? Well, no, actually, this makes a difference. Which one? The one that has disabled spots close to the door. All okay, right. I'm thinking now Hyatt. in this scenario, there's <laughs> he. <laughs> what did you say? I'm thinking Hyatt, okay. which is a shopping center <laughs> I used to regular. That at. concerns me that you know where the best disabled parking spots are. Yeah. That's concerning. Okay. But let's say hypothetically, Hyatt. So sure. the disabled park's super convenient yeah. for the disabled people, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in this scenario, yep. you you need some new underwear because you've got, you're wearing what, right? Oh, I'm wearing me undies. <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> now, in this scenario, there are heaps of parks available. Stacks. Yeah. It's, um, in this scenario, it's not like all of the regular parking spots are taken and there's a few disabled spots open. In this scenario, you can park wherever you like. Right, but mm. the best park is blue, and has a has a wheelchair only sign in front of it. Where are you park it? There, obviously. <laughs> it's higher. What are they going to do? 
There's no disabled people in Hyatt. What do you mean there's no disabled people in Hyatt? (laughs) What a blanket statement. (laughs) There's not a single disabled person in Hyatt? You've never seen a ramp in Hyatt? (laughs) Actually, no. Uh, But this is concerning. This isn't coming out for 15 or so years now. I wonder what I'll be doing. I probably won't even be like connected to you guys anymore. This you is, reckon you've moved on? You're planning on moving on in, in, the, next, in uh, the next decade and a half? Yeah, what maybe. the fuck? Hey, I, I mean, it depends. How much are you paying me? Like $1,500 a day? A month? <laughs> a month? A month, okay. Depending on inflation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So maybe $1,700. Yeah, yeah, a quarter. Okay. <laughs> maybe the economy's going badly. Yeah, okay, yeah. sure. Well... In that case, then yeah. yeah, I'll stick around if it's seventeen hundred dollars a quarter. I was actually thinking of paying you in shares. In shares of Fast Brick Robotics. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm listening. You've got me. So as of recording, you know, <laughs> obviously by the time this is released, this is fifteen years after we've recorded. I'm intrigued. It. I'm Everyone, a billionaire. We are financial inv- advisors. O- Go invest right now. Obviously I'm a billionaire as of recording because this long hold will have paid off. Yeah. You may remember in radio days, yeah. I put two thousand dollars into oh. a company called Fast Brick Robotics. A company seeing. from Perth that builds ha- <clears throat> builds houses. Well, wants to build houses with robots. Mm. Now to date there hasn't been a single house built, but they have built a foundation of a in a, a house shaped thing out of bricks. Yep. In an enclosed environment in a warehouse. Okay. Perfect conditions, no weather. Now, obviously, fifteen years after recording, this so stocks will change are up. wildly, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So my two thousand mm. dollars as of recording is <clears throat> three hundred and twelve. So. So I was thinking, I believe in fast brick robotics. Mm. Obviously, you do as well. Yeah, I have 7,260 shares. I was thinking, instead of paying you with money, like a lot of companies do, I believe in you and us, and I'm prepared to make you a shareholder in a company that I own a small piece of. Yeah, of course. Not the one you work at, this company. Absolutely okay. not. <laughs> Fast brick robotics. How much? Are you gonna get How many that? shares? How about if you make a seven thousand two hundred sixty? Let's see. Do some quick math here. Uh, seven two sixty divided by you know forty eight weeks a year. One hundred and fifty one point two five shares of fast brick robotics per week. Oh, yeah. Now, if you were to convert that <coughs> to money, that's about six dollars a week, man. Oh, it's more than I'm making now. I'll take it. I'll bloody take it. All right. Congratulations. Oh, you know, bricks could become the next new thing. (laughs) (laughs) I've heard heard that bricks are on the up. Yeah. (laughs) Again, yeah. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, I'll take that, of course. Great. Um, Typical Rio underwear wearer. (laughs) Rube. We have a few more minutes. Yep. I have to make up some time. Okay. Two o'clock. (laughs) <laughs> just made up a time 4.39 6.24 If you guys are watching 15 years in the future yeah. If time is still something we use Comment below what time it is for you Watching right now Yeah <laughs> And the date as well And the date Yeah, yeah, yeah I think we'll we'll probably wrap up here um, And let us know how the loogies went Let us know how the previous 14 loogies have gone Oh, that's right that's Getting right. better and better Yeah 15 years from now Right, when this episode releases. Obviously, this episode will probably perform a little bit less well than the other episodes because we'll be getting big guests on, uh, like the biggest comedians in the world by the time this comes out, like Ruben Solo. Um, (laughs) What did you say? I missed that. What did you say? (laughs) I said like Ruben Solo or Bill Cosby. (laughs) Well, he'll definitely be dead. You know, hopefully. If we yeah. 15 years from now, Bill Cosby's still alive, we're going to have to start harvesting him for science. <laughs> hey, something. hey, hey. <laughs> um, 15 years from now, the episode yep. probably average is like two, 300,000, right? Mm. So this one's probably going to perform a little bit less good because you will have been cancelled. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think about that. So probably like 150,000 uh, downloads, I'm thinking, on this episode. Oh, that's not very many. So we're going to have to send Nobby a big invoice <laughs> 15 years from now. Yeah. It's going to, you know, a lot more than, than <laughs> what they're paying for. Yeah, that's they're right. Gonna get, you, we might send them under. Uh, maybe in 15 years, though, mm. you won't even be hosting the show, neither will Luke. Because mm. I, I, I'm presuming I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that might have yeah. sent you th- like in a spiral. a spiral. You reckon that you are the only thing keeping my <laughs> mental health together? I think you just need one more thing, <laughs> <laughs> and, and and I'm gonna snap. So you're saying that the minute I see your mum on my doorstep <laughs> in the veil, I'm just gonna go postal. Yeah, I'm, she's gonna hand me the flowers. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Thank you, Keelan's mum. <laughs> I'll close the door. Yeah, that's right. And then the next time she sees me, I'll be on the news. <laughs> yeah, or maybe you'll be on the news for what then happened with my mum. You, you killed my mum. I wouldn't kill your mum. She's lovely. <laughs> yeah. One time, one time she helped me print a thing that's so right, I could that sign is, it. That is right. And then she, and then she said she would drop it off at my house later. Did she do that? No, she didn't. But actually, she no, said did she, she actually not do that. She didn't do it. She said she was going to do it, but she didn't. Hang on, I'll call her right now. <laughs> <laughs> she does work in Parliament. I hope she's not busy. <laughs> she's running the country right now. Now, don't say what it is because that might not be no, public no, by fine. now. You have reached the... <laughs> anyway, guys, that is... That is the end of the episode. <laughs> that is the end of the episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Support us on Patreon. Uh, make sure to post on the Reddit. We have a Reddit video coming up soon. We need more content. And subscribe to Keelan's Mealens. And while Lewis isn't here, uh, i got nothing else to plug. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. And... Uh